Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 34 for learning MEMS system in Django with React.js. In our previous video, uh, we have uh, implemented the functionality to upload the chapter in the specific course. Okay, so here is the course list. I am logged in as a teacher. Okay, currently we are working in the teacher panel. Okay, so these are the course list that are created by this teacher. Okay, so I am showing the name, image. Total node is not functional currently, but we will do. So uh, in the last video, we have implemented the add chapter functionality. Okay. Now in this video, what I'm going to do, if you remember the, uh, if you have seen the last video, then uh, uh, you can notice that we have passed here the static ID. Okay. So uh, what we need to do, we need to fetch the ID, this ID from the URL and then we, we need to pass here. Okay, so I'll do this uh, small utility in this video, then we will move next. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to get this parameter. Okay, we need to get this parameter. So let's open this uh, uh, main dot main component. So where is the main component? Uh, here we have. So in the main component, here you can see that we are passing the course ID. Okay. So we need to uh, fetch here the course ID. So how we can do that? Okay. So first of all, we need to install one package that is a React Router Dome. Okay. So first of all, we will install that package that is a React Router Dome package. Okay. So with the help of this package, we will use, uh, we will uh, get the parameter from the URL with the help of the use params hook. Okay. So let me show you. So we have uh, where it is. Let me show you use params. Here you can see that. So this this uh, uh, this package provides us a, a use param hook. With the help of this use param hook, we can get the uh, past past URL uh, URL part with the help of this hook. Okay. So first of all, we need to install this package. So just go to command line and install the package here. So here it is, oh, wait, it is. Uh, this is the Django and this is the NPM. Okay, actually this is the NPM, this this is the NPM. Okay, so uh, you need to, what, what you need to do, you need to just NPM install React Router Dome. Okay, I will add the command in the description also. Okay, so the command is very simple. Just you need to do, uh, let me show you. So this is the basic things. Okay, so you need to do NPM npm install react router dome okay so this is the uh, url you can install this here you can see that okay react router dome now after installing this i have already installed that so after installing this what i will do i'll just import this from react router dome okay react router dome here you can see that and here we will use use params okay and let's extract the course ID from this user parameters. Okay, not user, use params. Okay, so uh, before the, you can say simple here. So constant course, we, we are extracting. So course ID equal to use params. Okay, and this should be same as we are passing here. Okay. So now course ID will pass here the course ID. Now this is dynamic. Okay. Now let's uh, let's try this. So here we are. Now I'm going to add the chapter in the Django course. So what I will do? Why it is not showing the correct things? So add chapter view course and uh, this is not a link. So why this is not a link? So add chapter acquisition is called in a functional form sum oh 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 we can't add it here but we need to add here okay we can't uh, we can't hook this parameter in this function so that it is seeing the error okay so that uh, we are unable to click on this okay so when we click on this django and let's say we have uh, i'll close this uh, we have class chapter uh, or you can say a uh, class class based views 
okay and in the video what I will do I'll just simply add and this is uh, we will run we will learn class based views and submit this okay now let's go here and refresh this and if I go to the chapter here you can see that uh, we have chapter we have chapter with the course 9 okay with the course 9 here so I'll go to uh, my course and go to here you can see that we are passing 9 so that now it the chapter is added in the ninth course okay so we have uh, created this successfully you can see that we can how we can pass the id here and how we can get the id and how we can add the that id in our data okay in our next video this is small video just i want to explain you this thing in our next video i will show all the chapters when we i will make this link and when we click on this link then i will show all the chapter of this particular course okay and then uh, we will uh, we will add the edit functionality and delete functionality also okay so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you so much